everyone and welcome to the new episode of Three Whisketeers. My name is Jamie, I'm your host. We have the angel here, Hipster Curtis, and the happy Honduran <laughs> Eddie. And uh, in this episode we have uh, a special request from listeners, viewers. Um, would you like to go ahead and... No, Eddie, look at me. You're the one that unveils everything. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Let's give you the voila! What? Ah. There you go. So, so, some of our viewers have been uh, commenting, and uh, they wanted to know when we were going to do Old Crow. And Old Crow is an uh, inexpensive whiskey, right? Well, yeah, inexpensive. Yeah. I buy it by the case in these nice, big, wonderful bottles, and here in the state of Iowa, pay about nine fifty a bottle of that one. Great. So, okay. it's a nice, everyday, easy-drinking, wonderful whiskey. But we're not going to drink every day, right? Well, I don't. Are you? No. Okay. Yes. Any day. It can be drank any day of the week. <laughs> a month or even a year. Okay. okay. So, Old Crow has been around quite a while. Okay. So this is something like bars would have it there in their wells. Yeah, they could. Yeah. Very easily. Do you, okay. do you know who started Old Crow? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Uh, Dr. James Crow? Um, must have been. Has no relation to the old uh, Jim Crow laws of the 1800s. I believe it does not. No, I don't think it does either. No, and I don't even <laughs> think it has any relationship to Old Crow Medicine Show, the the, the band. Okay. Which which is a really has some so really wonderful albums. So this is not a whole whiskey, guys. Uh, right. Old, Crow. Old, Crow. Old Crow. Old Crow. Old Crow. Old Crow. Uh, there's uh, a lot of people who <laughs> slam Old Crow and, and don't think it's a very good whiskey. I, I disagree with them. I think, right. it's a, I think it's a really good whiskey. Okay. Um, I'll... Hunter S. Thompson, Mark Twain. Those are two famous people who loved Old Crow. Oh. It's it's there's a, a story that's told that Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, he uh, was, you know, sitting in the White House doing his Lincoln thing, mm -hmm. and some of his advisors were saying that a Grant, who was winning battles in the Civil War, was constantly drinking whiskey and was drunk, and and so Lincoln said, oh. Okay, find out what he's drinking and send a barrel to all the other generals. Thought that was kind of interesting. And, 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 and it is reputed to be Old Crow, what was sent to him. Okay. Awesome. Legend. So, legend has it. Legend has it. We're going to open this up. We're going to pass it around. Me first. And Eddie, if you'd like to go ahead and finish pouring this up, you had some points of interest that you wanted to talk about with Old Crow. Um, Uses and well, not specifically, specifically old crow. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, but I read an interesting article about why you should bring a bottle of whiskey on your camping trip mm -hmm. for survival. So I thought, hey, that makes a whole lot of sense to me. Why not bring a bottle of whiskey whenever you go camping, right? Right. Because there's lots of things you can do with whiskey if you needed <laughs> to survive out in the wild. Right. Yeah. 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 So such as oh, well, such as for example, you could use it, take a little bit of it, pour it into some creek water, and then it would kill the bacteria in that water so you wouldn't get sick if there was anything nasty in it. Okay. So I am hiking up in the Estes State in National Park in Colorado this coming weekend. So you could bring a whiskey? So I should bring some along with me. Okay. So just like the Western movies when somebody got shot and they pour whiskey, you think that would be a good solution to it? Uh, pouring whiskey on an open wound? Yeah. Well, um, it would sterilize the wound. Uh -huh. But the problem is, is it doesn't discriminate between healthy tissue and germs. So yes, if that's the only way you have to sterilize the wound, it would be a good idea. Not usually, you wouldn't usually do that because it would retard the time it would take for the wound to heal because you're actually killing some of the healthy cells that are in the wound. Okay, so, so what about if you got to chop your arm off? So you think drinking half of that bottle would be good? Well, you know, they say a couple shots of thin your blood on two <laughs> full shots of whiskey right on. Will, will will give you about a fifty percent reduction in pain. Right. So, so it is a pain killer. Okay. okay. Well, uh, we also have some food here that's sitting well. Out. Yeah, if you're out trying to survive in the wilderness, mm -hmm. you know, you're probably thinking about maybe I'm a surviving. nice strawberry Romanoff. Mm -hmm. I'm so, right now. burn. I'm surviving. <laughs> Looks good. Let me pass this to Britannia. Oh, thank you. Yes, Old Crow. <laughs> and uh, is there any uh, aroma that we should note, note or taste that we should note, or is this uh, 
Well, the last time I gave you guys full crow, you both of you turned your nose up at it and said it wasn't all that good. Okay. Well, let's read what we're supposed to really feel. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So this is the original Sour Mash Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So it should have been aged for four years. This is, they doesn't give a description, so it must be uh, just chug it when you open it. They don't want you to know what you're supposed to taste. Well, I mean, Oak Crow has been around. It's a standard. Yeah, it's, it just has a, a good, solid whiskey taste to it. Yeah. Did you have one, Jamie? The other thing about a bottle of whiskey yep. is um, you could use it once it's empty, like a magnifying glass to start a fire. Oh, there you go. Or if your kindling was wet and you needed to start a fire in your what is wet? Kindling. Oh, okay. You would pour a nice flammable liquid on top of it and you could get a fire started. Another good use for a, for a bottle of whiskey. Or like a pyro show and stuff too, right? Pyro show? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's see. And then maybe, just Plus, maybe. Think about this. You tie something around it, you put it up on a high limb in a tree somewhere, mm -hmm. and the sun will bounce off of the glass and it'll help the searchers find you in the middle of the What course. a good idea. Oh my yeah. gosh. Keep going. This okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Let's say you need to build a shelter and you don't have a knife. Okay. okay. Uh, you could break the bottle and you could use the glass shards to, you know, strip wood. And then you can use it as a weapon if you want to, right? Right. <laughs> See? So there's just a few things you could do. Or when you're done drinking, you could put water in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Or save your urine just in case you're out in the desert or something. <laughs> but you gotta remember, okay, we're, 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 we're reaching here. We're reaching. If you're out in the desert, you do not want to drink whiskey. Well, no, you would, of course you would dump it first. No, no, you just don't want to drink alcohol if you're dehydrated because it will dehydrate you more and kill you quicker. These guys. This pairing with this, this is awesome. Yeah. You guys are see. neglecting that. I'm sorry, I was check stuck, out, I was stuck on surviving, man. I'm sur trying to survive here. I'm surviving. I'm surviving this, this, this uh, strawberries. Strawberries Romanoff. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really has any no, connection to the Romanoff family. The original oh, shelf, I believe, was in the Claritin Hotel in London. Wait, and what is in here? What is in this? Well, I always put a scoop of chocolate ice cream at the bottom, and that's not traditional. Traditional, okay. it is strawberries with Grand Marnier. Oh, and uh, then Ooh. of course you have whip, uh, whipped cream, which I always hand whip. None of that cool stuff. That's just that's not cool. He right. hands hip. What hand mm. whips? He hand cream. whips. And that's cream. why you are our angel beard hipster. <laughs> that's exactly Man, why I'm a hipster. That's right. This guy wouldn't spoon. Okay. Any other final thoughts on the old crow that you'd like to uh, talk about? One of, our, one of our mutual friends, John's, this is one of his favorites, and good reason. It's, it's a really good, inexpensive whiskey. Something to have around all the time. So what do you think, Jamie? I, I, I think it's great. I think it's it's a perfect, uh, for just a great, solid whiskey taste. Yeah, you know, I think for me, since we've been doing this a little bit longer, I think I'm starting to appreciate the different types of whiskey, and I thought this thing was kind of, it was not the best. But now it's it, like other things. It, it, grows on me a little bit. You know it's what? actually tolerable. I think it's the marketing or something. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Like, I will drink it. I don't think I would buy it. I think uh, marketing or something gave it kind of a name where people don't yeah. don't go to it. Yeah. They kind of, they, they're sleeping on it a little bit. I mean, bit. I, I, don't I just don't know, man. I mean, who wants to drink well, something Courtney called Bulls Crow? Courtney down Benz, um, she, she's, she's another whiskey enthusiast. She mm -hmm. really knows her stuff. And, uh, uh, I was talking to her about it, and she couldn't believe that I bought Old Crow. And the reason is, is in high school, and a lot of us in high school, used to get Old Crow because it was cheap. So we always just assumed that Old Crow wasn't that good because it was cheap. And she said she, she was going to take another look at Old Crow because she uh, thought that, hey, wait a second, maybe it was good whiskey. So I think a lot of people just think because of the price it can't be good, but it really mm -hmm. is. Yeah, I, I agree. And uh, I think on that note, we're going to wrap this up and not forget to hit like and subscribe at the bottom of the screen, correct? That's right. Most importantly, all that. And uh, until next time, we'll see you.